Have you ever wondered what you should send to your email list? Keep watching for I'm going to share with you six things you can do to generate ideas and six suggested content ideas you can use right now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Karma Spence, your Legacy Creation Mentor. If you're watching this video, you probably already know that email marketing, building a list of subscribers, and regularly sending them emails is one of the most effective marketing tools. Here are some stats, just in case you aren't convinced of that. Emails are six times more likely to get a click-through than a tweet. Emails result in three times more social media shares than visitors from other sources. Your message is five times more likely to be seen via email than Facebook. And that's just talking about getting eyeballs on your message. Conversions into customers and clients is also better with email. Email has the highest conversion rate, 66% according to DMA, and drives more conversions than any other marketing channel including social media, search engine traffic, direct mail, and other marketing vectors. And finally, according to Who is Hosting This? Email Delivery 101, sending four emails a month instead of one significantly increases the number of customers opening more than one email. However, this raises a pretty big question. What should I send to my list? In this video, I'm going to share some tips for generating ideas and provide some suggestions for email content. Enjoy. Generating ideas. Make a list of major topics relevant to your target market. Break these down into subcategories and ultimately into specific topics. If you can come up with at least 52 specific ideas you'll have at least a year's worth of content ideas handy for whenever you're stuck for ideas. Have you ever had a great idea for something to send to your email list while at the grocery store or the bank or somewhere else, only to find it forgotten by the time you get home? Keep a notebook or your smartphone handy for recording these ideas that come to you spontaneously. Are you a member of your own target market? For example, you serve people who play Dungeons and Dragons, and you play D&D yourself. Great! Make a list of products, books, blogs, and more that you like and use. Found some that you don't think are worth the time? Make a list of those too. These lists will give you plenty of ideas of things to promote and inform your readers about. Ask your readers to submit questions and answer them. Don't have a huge list and can't seem to get many questions? Visit topic-related forums and networking groups and see what questions they're asking each other. I've found Quora to be a good resource, as are some groups on Facebook. Do some keyword research. Look for the information or products your target market is actively searching for by using a tool such as wordtracker.com or the free Google Keyword Planner. Answerthepublic.com is another good resource for finding what people are asking about in your niche as well. Read widely in your niche. Browse other information and article sites and keep an eye out for topics that you can write about for your list. Content suggestions. Write case studies. If your clients or customers are doing well, make an informative case study out of them. You can interview them, write a report of their results, and so forth. Just make sure it's interesting to your readers and more about helping them than promoting your services to them. Make a video and send it to your list. Make it an informative talk from you. Do a screen capture video like this one, or just have a little fun. As long as it's entertaining or useful to your readers, they'll appreciate it. If you do live videos on social media, you can send them to those as well. Don't wanna send video? Then make an audio recording and send it to your list. You can teach something, do an interview, or anything else your readers may find of interest. Write a blog entry and send it to your list. If you're on my list, you know this is one of my favorites. 
Not only do they receive good content, but you can add some interactivity to your communication by having them leave comments. It can also increase traffic if they share your post on social media. So make it easy for them to do that as well. Do you write articles for other websites? Perhaps you write a column for an online magazine or blog. Maybe you just had a guest post published. If it's useful to your readers, send them a quick link, an interesting description, plus a link for them to read it online. Have you found a particularly useful blog post or article? Write a commentary about it and share that with your subscribers. It's a way to bring great content to your list and develop a relationship with fellow online business owners as well. Use this list over and over again and you'll never run out of ideas. Remember to keep notes as new ideas pop into your head and keep those notes in one handy place. That way you'll always have a great resource for coming up with new ideas. Did you find this video helpful? I really do hope so. If you did, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more information like this.